Do you want to know how to dodge an EMMI or EMI in Metro Dread without dying consistently every single time? Well in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. There's many tips I have in this video to help you dodge an EMI consistently, but my one secret advice is at the end of this video, so stay tuned because no one is talking about this secret that totally changes the game. As soon as you run into an Emmy, an animation begins. This animation is either Samus sliding or Samus not sliding. Technically, there are four possible animations because it will change depending on what side of the Emmy you are on. These animations are important to know for future techniques in this video. So pay close attention, here they are. Sliding to the right. Sliding to the left. not sliding to the right, and not sliding to the left. There is a random timer for how long the Emmy waits until it grabs you. There is also a random timer for how long the Emmy waits until it stabs you. These two timers are completely independent from each other, so trying to use rhythm will rarely work, unless you get lucky and the exact same animation plays for the one you were expecting. Here's an example of how the waiting time for an Emmy to grab you can differ. Each of these four clips is started as soon as the animation starts. You can clearly see how the bottom left clip has different timing than the rest. Here's one more example that really shows it off. This next clip shows how even after the Emmy grabs you, there is an independent timer for how long it waits till it stabs you. Pay close attention to how the bottom right clip is different than the rest. I'd line these up so the grab is all at the same time. The key to dodging an enemy is realizing what animation is playing as soon as possible, because one animation is better than the other. The slide animation means you will be grabbed with two hands. The no slide animation means you will only be grabbed with one. This clip shows how the no slide animation getting grabbed with one hand gives you a few extra frames to dodge the hand when it grabs you. These two animations were played at the exact same time and you can clearly see how the bottom right has already grabbed Samus while the top left has not grabbed Samus yet. Now if you fail to counter the hand, you still have a chance to counter the stab but one stab animation is not better or worse than the other, so you kind of just have to guess, although they are different. A one-handed grab does not have a red dot, while a two-handed grab does. You can use this to your advantage by knowing which clip is about to play, and then reacting to what you know is about to happen. If Samus is able to escape a stab, there are two animations that can play. A face kick, if grabbed by one hand, or a backflip if grabbed by two hands. Now that you know all this important background information, here is my one tip that no one else is talking about on the internet. Always try to dodge the hand first. It's way, way easier than dodging the stab. All you gotta do is not look at the Emmy. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but look at the background and you'll notice that the screen is kind of shaking a little bit, but then right before it's about to grab you, it freezes. And as soon as it freezes, that's when you want to hit your counter attack. The screen kind of jolts, which is easier to react to than staring at a hand and waiting for the dot. If you're still struggling to dodge an Emmy, feel free to replay this video as many times as you need or pause it in certain spots if I went too fast for you. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I'm Beach Ball. Peace out.